Well, hello YouTube. Um, welcome on my newest puzzle box video. If you like some of my other puzzle boxes, uh, just uh, click on my name or uh, to one of this uh, links to other puzzle boxes. Um, I hope you're gonna enjoy this video too. Um, if you have seen uh, a few more of my puzzle box videos, um, you see this one is a little bit different. Um, it's still a puzzle box. I'm gonna show you the puzzle part first and the box part a bit later. This one hasn't really a trick lock, it's just a maze and a box um, fitted together. If you take one of these uh, little magnetic balls, you can put them in the small hole because it has two holes. Uh, it, because the ball has also get out of it um, when you're done with the maze. And uh, you can start the puzzle. At first it's it's not that hard because uh, yeah, you have to get along with, with moving the cube and um, moving the ball around uh, the corners and get along with the maze. And here it's uh, yeah two little gaps which could fall the ball. And um, here is the first decision you have to make. I uh, take this one. Uh, let's just see uh, how to get uh, of uh, what it will give. Bring us. Sorry for my English. Um, like you uh, probably can hear, my English is not my native language, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, okay, you can um, move the ball around uh, everything, and yeah, I think it's it's really nice made, and it looks nice. Uh, I made it for a school project, and um, yeah, I'm 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 really happy with how it looks like. Well, like you see, I uh, I get uh, a dead end, but it doesn't matter. Okay, um, like I said in the beginning, it's a puzzle box, so. Yeah, you might get the puzzle part, but why is it a box? Well, let me show you. Um, just like my other boxes, it has a secret compartment. Well, it's not that secret because you can just take the lid off. But anyway, let me just show you uh, how to get the lid off. Okay, you uh, just get to uh, corners and you just gently lift it off. I think it's really nice made because yeah, it was a bit hard to, to um, make sure everything was one piece and few parts had to be glued to the lid like this part you see here and uh, it's it's pretty big from the inside because the maze on the outside had to be uh, big enough and I'm really happy if you can uh, put few things in there and uh, just put the lid back on <laughs> um, well to make this box I also designed a maze generating program um, you can download it and um, yeah, you just install it on your own computer. If you uh, click on the link on the description, um, wait for it. Yeah, here. Okay, if you put uh, if I click on the link on the description, um, you uh, will be able to download it. If you don't have a Google Google account, you will be uh, you have to make one. Um, if you have a Google account, just click download, and it will download a file called Screensaver. Just um, right click on it and then install and everything will uh, be installed on your computer and you have an awesome maze generating screensaver. It will look like this, um, it has a few different colors, if you like to switch color just click, click zero but every time it takes random one. Oh, I'm gonna fast forward, it takes about two minutes uh, to generate the whole maze. And for the box I used also a maze generating program, uh, which I also written, wrote by myself. And, um, well, it was a little bit different because it had to be 3D, but also this one is nice. And if it's done, it just creates a new one. Thank you for watching.